Margo and Jeannie, today we're going to be looking at three of the plants that are probably the most common in the Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve. There's also found in lots of different areas around um, Southern California and Northern Baja California. This is the Toyon Lemonade Berry and Laurel Sumac. What are the areas that you, you don't find them everywhere? So what are, how would you describe the areas where you do find them? They're in the, the maritime chaparral is a, a good description. The lemonade berry you can also find in the coastal sage scrub, but it's all, uh, chaparral also. Okay. And um, how do you differentiate those? Well, the coastal sage scrub is mainly on the, the slopes and the terraces near the ocean, whereas the, the chaparral is a little higher and often in the, the north facing slopes so that there's more moisture available to them. Okay, so so you wouldn't find them um, in the desert, you wouldn't find them in areas... Correct. Why do they choose these areas, if you want to put it that way? What Survival. What, survival. How are they adapted or what characteristics do they have that allow them to flourish in these areas? The chaparral plants tend to have very deep roots to get moisture that you're not going to find in the desert. And also they have other adaptations and we'll be covering those as we look at the plants. Okay. Uh, for, for example, their, their leaf structure. Okay. It's very hard. It's, it's almost like it's covered with plastic almost. It's hard. For leaf. the laminate berry. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also, well, Toyon is sort of in... Not, that well, is not much. as much, but... Although Laurel Sumac has a, a thinner leaf, right. and so that makes it a little more susceptible to cold and frost, right? Correct. There's a story yeah. that we hear about, about the early citrus growers in California. What's that story about Laurel Sumac? If Laurel Sumac will grow and thrive, then the citrus will grow and thrive, because it doesn't get frozen there. It doesn't, okay. It doesn't have frost. Margaret, I remember you saying that when you first started as a docent and were learning about botany of, of these plants, that you found two of them, I think you mentioned, confusable. What, what were right, they? Right, the, the laurel sumac and the toyon. Um, it was spring, <laughs> and neither of those have flowers or fruit at that time of the year. And also, I hadn't quite learned to look closely at the leaves. So they they both have long leaves, quite different from the other plants, and lighter green than many of the, the the leaves. So I found them confusing until I really looked. Right, right. And I didn't I hadn't learned to to look at the shapes of the plants and, and all the the other keys that you look for. Jeannie, you've done a lot of training. What what kinds of confusions do you find that new learners will have about between the plants? I think a lot of people confuse the lemonade berry and toyon. Yeah, yeah. They do. When you're just starting, yeah, there's, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just that they forget which is which. But, um, yeah, and when you're just starting out, you know, it's, it's pretty confusing. Cause Their leaves are actually similar in some ways. They both have a serrated ways, yeah. edges. Uh, Whereas for me, lemonade, I mean, uh, laurel sumac is a smoother. Right. The entire yeah, Certainly, if, if you take the leaves and run your fingers along the edge, right. laurel sumac, you have nothing to stop you. Right. Lemonade, you can still take your fingers down and you'll feel some of those t uh, teeth on most of the, the leaves. 
But if you tie on, if you tie on, if you do that, you can't get down right. the leaf at all. Yeah. Maybe it's we'll all see. With this tiny teeth. Yeah. Although I let we'll, we should look because one of the things I've noticed is sometimes there are lemonade berry. The leaves, even on the same plant, will differ. Some of them will be smoother, smaller, little pointy things, and other they'll be more pronounced. Correct. And that that can be a source of. But they they, they tend to have wavy edges to their leaves. Right. At least not all of them again, but but some of them. Whereas yeah. Toyana and, they and, and um, they, yeah, they and tend lemonade. to. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that doesn't mean that every leaf on the bush is going right. to follow the rule, right. which is a problem for a beginner. And the shape, the, the the lemonade berry is almost as wide as it is long, whereas that's certainly not the case. For but the I've seen lemonade berries that do have a longer. Leaf. Yeah, they they'll get you sometimes. Right. That's, yeah, that's what it's. So one of the lessons may be that you need to look at the, on the same plant at air, different areas. That depending on the exposure right, to the sun and the and you also yeah. need to start looking at the plant itself. So let's let's do that now. We're in December, and we'll be seeing plants. So that, we have other clues, especially for the tie on. Since What's the clue for the Christmas toy? Holly is, is one of its right. uh, names. <laughs> Christmas berry. Right. Yeah, uh, beautiful red berries. So Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting story, and I just said you want to tell us the story, but I will say before you tell it that I've heard other story that this is a uh, maybe apocryphal. But the story that, that yeah, we right, hear most I, is what uh, that it's because the hills were covered in toy on that Hollywood got its name. Right. But I, I have no idea whether it's true or not. Okay, why don't we go look at some plants?